Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is continuation of the video uh, about energy in a coupled circuit. And this will be solving practice problem 13.3. And just to recall, we, we know that energy in a single coil is given by this formula. And also we have learned that energy uh, in a coupled coil just like shown here these couple coils the energy is given by this formula half l1 i square half l2 i square plus minus m i1 i2 now if the current in both the coils enter the dot or in both the coils enter the non dot then we use the positive sign here, positive. But if it enters at the dot in one and non-dot in the other, then we'll be using negative of M. Okay, so this is the question. For the circuit shown here, determine the coupling coefficients and energy stored in the coupled inductors at T is equal to 1.5 seconds. So we have done exactly similar uh, question in the previous video, example example 13.3. So just follow the same technique here. Okay, so this is the formula for the coupling coefficients. We just plug in the values. M is 1, L1 and L2, 2 into 1. So its value is 0 0.707. Next question is energy is stored in the couple inductor at T is equal to 1.5 second. So we have to use this formula and uh, to use this formula we have to first of all know the value of the current I1 and I2. I1 here and I2 here. Okay. The easiest method is to go to the phasor domain to find I1, capital I1 and I2 and then come back to find the time domain current. So we'll follow that technique. Convert the circuit into phasor domain. So like 100 cos 20T uh, volt will be 100, 0 degree. From here omega, omega T, omega is 2 radians and 2H, 2 Henry, 1 Henry and 1 Henry we just multiply by J omega remember omega is 2 so 2 into 2 it will be J4 2 into 1 J2 2 into 1 J2 and similarly for capacitor we will use this formula so plugging in the value of 1 8 here and 2 for omega we get this answer minus J over 4 I hope you can uh, find it out how we get minus J4. Okay, so now we draw the phasor circuit. So equivalent phasor circuit, putting all the phasor values here. So this is our circuit and we'll solve this circuit to find I1 and I2. So the first step uh, that we'll do in the phasor circuit is that we have to incorporate these diamond signs or dependent signs for the induced voltages and we have already learned that on the uh, in the loop 2 the voltage will be induced due to i1 and so j2 into i1 will be the uh, amount of voltage and similarly on the uh, primary side or the left hand side the voltage will be induced due to i2 current so m i2 or J2, I2 will be the value of the voltage here. Very important point is to mark the direction. Now don't make a mistake, otherwise you will get a wrong answer. Now we have already learned this, but I'll just repeat how to mark this. First of all, in this, the current is entering the non-dotted terminal. And so we have learned that the non-dotted terminal of the secondary side will be positive. So non-dotted terminal is up, upper side. 
so the upper side of this will be positive and obviously the lower side will be negative similarly here the current is entering the dot that means dot side will be positive now the dot is at the bottom here that means the bottom side will be positive after you have marked this you can also mark all the uh, polarities due to current i1 and i2 wherever the current touches that becomes positive okay and now we are ready to write the kvl equation so for mesh 1 we start from here minus 100 4 i1 minus j4 i1 j4 i1 and this is minus sign so we'll write minus j2 i2 so this is the first equation mesh 1 we simplify bring the like terms so this becomes our equation number one similarly for mesh 2 we write from here so minus j2 i1 because minus sign coming first then plus j2 i2 plus j2 i2 and plus 2 i2 and here also we arrange so i1 and i2 so this is our equation number two and now in this case it is easier to uh, uh, write these in matrix form and solve it so equation number one and equation number two we can write it in matrix form so this is the magnitude and these are the two unknown currents and this is the voltage so let's move to the next slide okay now i'm sure you recall that the formula for finding the currents is i1 is delta 1 over delta and i2 is delta 2 over delta so what is delta delta 1 delta is this whole thing and if we multiply cross multiply these two we get this equation and using your calculator you can get this value 12 plus j8 so this is delta for delta 1 we'll replace the first column so we replace the first column with the voltage and again cross multiply this will become zero so this 200 plus j200 and for delta 2 we'll replace the second column so for delta 2 replacing second column by uh, the voltage 100 and 0 this is 0 minus minus plus j200 so we have found all the three deltas now putting in the uh, this equation or this relation and solving by putting your calculator in complex mode this is the answer that we get for i1 and similarly for i2 putting the value of delta 2 solving this is i2 okay so now we have got the two phasor currents now we are ready to go into the time domain so for time domain the magnitude cos omega t plus this angle and similarly for i2 the magnitude cos omega t plus this angle So we had got these two currents uh, in the time domain. Now the question is actually saying to find energy at t is equal to 1.5 seconds. So we have to put here t is equal to 1.5 seconds. So 2t here, so 2t can be written as 2 into 1.5 is equal to 3 and this is in radians of so 3 radians since the other angle is in degree therefore we have to convert this also into degree so 3 multiplied by 180 divided by pi so this will be uh, 171.89 so our currents will now be i1 1961 cos this is equal to 2t in degree plus 11.31 so after we you solve this the value is minus 19.58 ampere and similarly for i2 putting this for 2t and solving the value is minus 9.24 ampere at t is equal to 1.5 
and now we are ready to use the energy stored equation now here we are taking minus sign because as i have already discussed we can look here the current is entering the non dotted terminal here but here the current is entering the dotted terminal so there is a mismatch and whenever there is a mismatch we use negative sign here okay and now we can plug in all the values l and so this is 1 over 2 l is 2 current we have found from here so putting all the values m is 1 from here and the two currents and solving our energy is 245.15 joules so this is slightly different from what is given in the book but this is the correct answer so i hope uh, you have understood how you can solve this type of a question thank you please like and share with your friends